Hey guys, it's Bodie with IPTVWire.com. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to install an ad blocker for any Amazon Fire Stick or Fire TV device. Now, why would you want an ad blocker? Well, if you guys have ever visited any websites that are just cluttered with ads or even just some random ads inside applications or third party apps, etc., Using an ad blocker is a great way to get rid of some of these ads. Now, in particular, if you pull up the Amazon Silk browser, for example, and you go to almost any website today, it seems like there's just ads flooded everywhere. So using an ad blocker will help you with that. So in this example, I'm using an Amazon Fire Stick 4K Max, but this tutorial will work on any variation of the Amazon Fire Stick, Fire TV Cube, or Fire TV device. So guys, the first step to installing an ad blocker on Fire Stick is to hover over the search icon and click search. And I'm going to type in downloader. Now, if you already have the downloader app installed, you can go ahead and skip to the next steps. But I'm gonna click downloader and start from the beginning. Once you see downloader under the apps and games, click the orange icon, then click download and then wait a few seconds for Downloader to install. All right, after Downloader has installed, before launching, I'm gonna click the Home button on my remote as there are some settings we need to change first. So I'm gonna hover over the Settings icon, scroll down and click My Fire TV, click About, and then you're gonna click Fire TV Stick 4K Max or whatever this says here until you see the following message. No need, you are already a developer. Once you see that message, click the back button, click developer options, click install unknown apps, click downloader, and as you'll see, it now says on. So we have now turned on the ability for downloader to install unknown apps. So once you've done that, click the home button on your remote, scroll down and you should see downloader under recently used apps. Click that to launch it. Click allow, click okay, and you've now installed the downloader app. All right, so after you've installed the downloader app, simply click the search box, and I'm going to enter the following URL. B-L-O-K-A-D-A dot org, excuse me, not dot com, dot org. All right, so blockada dot org, which is a popular ad blocker that you may be familiar with. So once you type in that URL, click go. And now we're going to be directed to the Blockada website. So once we're on the website, click download. And then you'll see these options to download for Android. So do not click the Google Play as that is for Android devices. We're going to scroll down and click Blockada 5 APK. So go ahead and click that. And then that should prompt the download of the Blockada application. So wait a few seconds for this to install. And once you see this message, click install. And then wait a few seconds for the app to install. All right, so after the application has installed, I'm gonna click done. And I'm gonna delete the installation file. So click delete, click delete again. And now I'm gonna hold down the home button on my remote, click apps. And you'll see Blockada is right here in my apps list. So I'm gonna click the options button on my remote, click move, and I'm gonna move this towards the front of my apps list. So click okay to drop it. So once you go back to the home screen after installing Blockada, simply click the application to launch it. And after doing that, you will notice the orientation and also the navigation here um, is actually quite skewed since this application is optimized for Android devices and not Fire TV devices. So guys, one thing you might wanna do is install Mouse Toggle as that will provide you with better, uh, better navigation. I have a separate tutorial for that and I can leave a link to that in the description below. So once you launch Blockada, simply click the power button here. As you'll see, it says just one more step. So once you see that, it says Blockada is using a VPN configuration to block ads. You will be asked to allow it in the next step. Now guys, it's very important here that I explain what this means. 
This means that Blockada now has their own VPN configuration to block ads. So if you are using a VPN like Surfshark, for example, like I am in this video, it is not going to work. So if I click continue, it says connection request wants to set up a VPN connection that allows it to monitor network traffic. So click OK once you see this. And then you'll see Blockada is active. So I'm going to click continue. So now this is blocking ads and trackers. But what's interesting here is if I launch Surfshark VPN, you'll see that I am now not connected with to my VPN. I was connected before this and my IP address is now exposed. So guys, while Blockada is a decent option for blocking ads on Fire Stick, I'm actually gonna convince you here why I would use Surfshark and their ad blocking feature instead of applications like Blockada. So I'm gonna launch Blockada again and I'm gonna click the power button here in the middle and I'm gonna disconnect myself from Blockada. So it's telling me to please wait and now I am deactivated from Blockada. So I'm gonna click the home button and I'm gonna launch Surfshark VPN. And as you'll see, I am disconnected from Surfshark. So I'm gonna go ahead and click quick connect so that way my connection is secure. Now guys, if you are unfamiliar, Surfshark actually has its own ad blocking feature built into the VPN called CleanWeb. So if I come up to features here, if you guys are following along and also have Surfshark, I'm gonna click features and you'll see right here, CleanWeb, block ads, trackers, and malware when the VPN is connected. So essentially this is doing the exact same thing as Blockada, but it's not as advertised. So I'm gonna click Clean Web to launch it. Now you will have to reconnect to your VPN in order to use this feature, but that's okay. I'm gonna click Reconnect. And then just wait a few seconds for your connection to establish. And I am now reconnected to Surfshark VPN with the Clean Web feature enabled. So now with Clean Web, I can go on to any internet browser, go to any website, and I can start to block ads, trackers, and malware just like these other ad blockers such as Blockada. So guys, that's it. That is how you install an ad blocker on Fire Stick or Fire TV. But guys, I would personally recommend you use the Surfshark Clean Web feature as it is a lot better than Blockada in my opinion for several reasons. So again, this is Bodhi. I appreciate you guys watching this video. I hope this tutorial helped you out and also my explanations. Be sure to like, share, subscribe, leave a comment below. I hope you guys have a great day and I look forward to releasing more content like this in the near future.